Hello, uh, my name is Jackson. Uh, today I will be discussing the CERT Medic Vest and what type of uh, items and supplies that could be loaded onto it. And uh, this would just be a sample of uh, some of the items I like to load uh, onto my vest. So let's uh, start from the top. I guess the first item is my Pelican searchlight. So here I'm was finding with the elastic uh, pen holders, anything with a clip uh, could be placed in here in addition to uh, oversized pens and pencils. Okay, the next item is for night operations is the night beacon. I'll just put that up on top so people could see you uh, at night. Uh, the next two items for the pocket here is uh, one would be uh, like my iPhone 6. I would put it in here, but since I'm recording, I can't. Uh, show you that but here is an item that's about the same size a notepad so that could uh, fit in here in addition for the split pocket i have my leatherman and then that fits nicely here in that uh, second pocket so right under that i have my id which i could just slide into the id holder And after that, just below that, I'm going to put in a tape. I find that I use a lot of tape in exercises. So uh, to, for different markings. So I could just put my tape in here. Okay. Oh. Next, you notice there's a number of the D rings. So I have my emergency whistle. So I usually just stick that on my D ring. So the next item for the pens, on the pen holders. So I have my right in the rain pen. I'll put that in here and just have another backup pen and then I have my sharpie all right so my next two items uh, using the radio pocket here I have my ham radio and then I also have a GRS uh, FRS uh, radio here Okay, so that's a pretty snug fit because I also want to add the speaker mic. Then you could secure that right here. And then for the speaker mic, you could either put a number of places, you could put it on top, or you could put it in with the elastic uh, pencil holder. Uh, but for this one, I have a moly, so I'll just put it here on the moly. So I'll do that later after I fill this pocket. 
And then uh, for, I guess, current cert operations, you use the ham radio to talk to the command post and the FRS radio to talk to your search and rescue team. And so once again, since it has a clip, you clip it here. So I can load both radios uh, right here. Okay. And then right below the pins, I start loading in my medical supplies on this side of the vest. So here's a coban tape and then a bunch of medical gloves. Okay, and then now for this, I will use the moly to attach my mic. Alright, so now I'm going to start loading the bottom pockets. So for the first bottom pocket, I have a number of supplies, miscellaneous supplies. So, uh, like a backup mask, N95 mask, earplugs, bandana, and a rain suit. So, actually for that one, I'm going to use the inner, this inner zipper right here. So that fits nicely in here. And also have backup batteries. That goes in here. Alright. So the next item I have is my CERT field operations guide or fog. So for this one, actually, since it has the two in inner pockets, I have the option of putting it here. So you can put a number of documentations, uh, but actually still in the outer pocket, there's another pocket here and actually it fits pretty good in here. So I just place it there like that. So now I'm ready to load up the pocket. With other PPEs. So the common PPEs I put in this pocket are like uh, my markers, such as a grease pencil or a lumber crayon. So I like uh, putting it here. This is the toothbrush holder. It's convenient. So I just put that on the bottom. And I have my gloves. So that fits nicely in here. And I also have uh, protective uh, safety glasses. So I had finding that I had problems with the goggles to keep fogging up. So the safety glasses seem to work better. So I could uh, fit that in here. And then of course have the notebook to keep my notes in. That's the final item. close up this pocket. So now on the other side, I typically use this pocket for my medical supplies. So it's being like my first aid kit. Uh, so to begin with, so with this 
inner pocket here. Uh, I could put this on the inside option for the inside pocket here. But since yeah, this is very convenient, so I put here for like my triage count cards and also a notepad that I could use as makeshift uh, triage tags to just write the information here for patients. So that fits in there nicely. Got my scissors. So I just put it into one of these places. And then yeah, later on if I had yeah optional other uh, cases for pills or stuff I could or syringes or other su medical supplies I could put them here if necessary. Then uh, the next item here, it's like emergency blanket. And then I have also a tourniquet, and here I also have this Israeli bandage. And in addition to that, I have a ha has hazardous material bag. So I just have that in a convenient plastic bag to keep all of those together. They go in here. And I have my face mask. And then I have uh, here my uh, uh, gauzes, dressing, bandages. And, uh, and then have that and just put it together in a plastic bag. And put that here too. So now I have my first aid kit in this pocket. Okay, so that's for the front of the vest. So now, but I still have another pocket in the back. So the things I typically put back here, so it's a nice big pocket and with the extra moly. So typically uh, if I'm doing a scribe uh, position. I can put typically uh, my notepad, so in case you have to write down notes. But I also found that uh, I could put a smaller litter disposable litter that holds up to like 350 pounds and that actually fits nicely in the back so I have a litter with me too and then I can have my documentation with like my cert forms just put it into a plastic bag and that will fit in here and then have my clipboard so I have all I have all my paperwork with me in the back pocket and then of course if I need a map I get to stick the mat back here too. And as another option, I also found if I don't need all the documentation, then uh, actually this is a tight fit, but uh, I could put another litter. This holds up to a thousand pounds, and then uh, I could squeeze that in the back too as another option okay and then finally with the moly um, I have this attachment for my helmet and then I can put that on And then I can hang the heck, uh, my helmet off my vest. So yeah, so that's just a sampling of some of the supplies and uh, personal protective equipment that could be loaded into the CERT medic vest. So if this looks like something you're interested in, go ahead and see uh, contactthevestguy.com and uh, yeah, check out. Say you want to check out the CERT medic vest. All right, this is Jackson signing off. Bye.